Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Coming at you with a quick TTM mail recap. I think this is for Thursday through Saturday's TTMs. Um, I didn't get a chance to do a video for you again, so I'm trying to get this one done for you. I've already posted the pictures <laughs> on social media, but um, I haven't done a video yet, so we'll do this. These aren't in any particular order, they're just kind of how they're piled here. Um, we got David B. Robinson. He was a U.S. Navy Vietnam War veteran. He's a retired Vice Admiral and Navy Cross recipient. So I sent him a photo of the Navy Cross. And he signed the back. And he also sent this letter back and signed that as well. So thank you, Mr. Robinson. And uh, thank you for your service. It's a really cool return to give back. We got a couple cards signed by former pitcher Bob Kipper. We got 88 Fleer and 87 Tops. And then got this out of a dollar pack from the Antique Mall from whoever went. I still was holding on to him. Former Rockies catcher JD Klosser. He also played for other teams as well, but he's in a Rockies uniform here. So I thought it'd be a cool one to get. We got this. Dorothy Tree uh, for my friend Scott Masters. Uh, I, I have gotten her before TTM, but uh, she, of course, uh, got interviewed by him and uh, she was the inspiration for this famous photo here of Dottie. So that is her. So really cool. She still is active and speaks and goes to a lot of events and she's 102 years old guys so pretty remarkable she's uh she's in a little, little pamphlet there points in the ballroom and some information the world war ii american experience looks fun in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And she sent a little note here as well. Very cool. Thank you, Miss Dorothy or Dottie. Appreciate your service and thank you for sending a little something over. I'm glad you're doing well. Next up, we have another former MLB pitcher. We got Toby Stoner. And I have no idea what he's doing in this photo. <laughs> I don't know if he's getting out of the way of a ball or if he went to pick up and field a ball. And I don't know. <laughs> Just thought it was a weird photo. And had to send it. He didn't make any remarks on it or anything like that. So I don't know what don't know what happened there. It's interesting though. Next up we have actress Bonnie Hellman. I believe she was in Friday the Thirteenth or something, and other other things as well. Uh, this photo is a little dark, but I tried to make it the best I could. Signatures unfortunately did well. But that's because I'm using glossy photo paper. So it's my own fault. But she did sign those two. I'm still happy. Um, she did send a nice letter here. Um, I did not use that address, by the way. Um, but yeah, she's still currently doing some work. Um, she liked the verse inscriptions down there at the bottom. It says her favorite is John 3.16. Very cool. Nice to know she's a Christian. Nice to meet another believer in Christ through the mail. Next up, uh, this one actually, it got returned to me for postage. Um, they didn't put a stamp on it, so um, I hope I hope I didn't accidentally put my envelope in there and forget to put a stamp. And made her do this <laughs> I really hope I I've done it before I've, I've forgotten so I really hope I didn't I feel bad if I did <laughs> but uh, she used her own envelope and didn't put a stamp on it but it still came to me somehow um, but Miss Patty Chandler she's a model and actress and yeah it did get to me I don't know maybe two of my envelope could have got lost could have got destroyed who knows but I'm glad it still got here um, 
I didn't get a note or anything from my mail carrier saying to put some, put like 68 cents or whatever in, the, in there for them, but I can if I want. Just leave it there for them. I don't know how much the stamps are now. It's something 60 something cents now. This next one, uh, this is the other TTM that went to my parents' house. It's from July 2020, so it is over four years old. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe this gentleman, I think he lives partly here in Colorado and partly out of the country. Um, so that could have been why it took so long, or you never know, because the mail it could have literally just been delivered to him recently. I don't know. <laughs> um, but Milan Hayduke, former Colorado Avalanche, right winger. Signed three cards ahead of his. So, pretty cool. I hear back from him. Glad it did come. And they came like consecutive, consecutively. We had the Anna Kornikova, which was sent in July 2020. Then we had that one. Also sent in July. <laughs> Next up, we do have a failure. Yeah, Bernie Kosar. So, don't use that address. That is not him. <laughs> but I tried. Um, this is an email success. This is from Ari Shapiro. He's a uh, journalist. And I uh, sent a little note. And the sticker that he also signed. Ari Shapiro is my co pilot. Okay. He says that uh, when it hits the sun, it makes a rainbow. So, cool. And lastly, another email success. Come back from race car driver Ryan Roulette. So if you go to his website, you can request this card. So, pretty cool. Nice mail day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you had a favorite. And hopefully it gives you some ideas of some people to potentially write to. So, uh, thank you to everybody who signed for me as well. Really appreciate it. And happy to put them into the autograph collection. And was excited to get the pictures all on and everything and show everybody. So... And uh, try and tag them too. I usually try to tag them on Instagram if I can find them. Also, just for a little bit of a thank you. So, thanks everybody. I will see you all later. Bye.